Okay. So we're in the other part of our tasting room here, which has a little bit of a history on the wall behind me here. So you can see um, in 2012, uh, we started with a product other than vodka or whiskey, and that was our honey cinnamon liqueur. So Bron Nurkowski, who is the founder of Infusions Artisan Flavors, um, he has a recipe for a um, Polish liqueur that's been around in his family for hundreds of years, and he came to us and he insisted that we needed to try this product and he did not want to start a distillery of his own, but he wanted to work with us to make this. So this is our honey cinnamon liqueur. Um, it is great mixed. It is great on its own. It's great over ice cream. It's great lots of different ways, um, but you definitely want to check this product out when you're in our shop. Well, a friend of mine um, did this painting of me when I was in Colorado College or at Colorado College in the 90s, uh, pursuing my hockey dream. Um, found out that maybe I wasn't the best hockey player in the world. I just lacked size, speed, and talent. Otherwise, I probably would have made it. But this guy was a unique guy. He uh, had all kinds of talents, and he was um, one of the first micro distilleries in Colorado, and he was the guy that inspired us to start this. So yeah, so we started in our garage in 2011 is when we actually opened the doors to the distillery. Um, and it didn't take us very long to realize that the garage was not going to be enough space. Just our first pallet of bottles receiving that was having, <laughs> we had to drive to the other side of town and unload every box into the back of the truck and then drive it up the hill and then unload it out of the truck and then into the garage, like case by case. So very, very tedious. and takes up a huge footprint like I remember we lined the wall like a pallet is usually four foot square but that was just too much space so we kind of like lined the wall lined the boxes up against the wall and up so it took up less space and then over the course of the next couple months we built a single car garage next to the garage just to house bottles so that we could get those well, we had no idea out. we had no idea yeah. if that pallet was gonna last us a year if it was gonna last us two months sure. we just really took a chance so true so true so yeah so between that and and yeah we were lucky things um kind of took off and people really seemed to like the idea of a craft saskatchewan spirit um and so by the following summer we were really really getting crowded for space and uh we were lucky enough to meet uh our business partner for exactly one day daryl you can tell that story <laughs> 